Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. This is a pick a card oracle. So we're going to look at what's blocking the Kundalini, your life force, your aura, your light. It's very much in alignment with the current new moon in Scorpio that is upcoming, but this is a timeless pick a card oracle reading. So again, you can listen to this message at any time. We're going to work with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. For the Kundalini energy, we're going to get some guidance from God, Goddess Isis. And we are going to work with my Everyday Witch Oracle card deck. All right, so you can tune in and let yourself be guided to... Pile number one, number two, number three. There's no pile because I like to use all the deck. But again, uh, let's use our intuition and pick a number. Or you can just also just scroll. I'll see you there. Pile number one. So very interesting little song that came in my mind. It doesn't, it's not a song that exists, pile number one. But it was along the lines of Kundalini, Kundalini, where to find me? where to find me so it, it just felt like maybe pile the number one the one that chose that option is wondering what is kundalini what does it feel like uh is it something that i've experienced is it something that i haven't okay this this is really a rush of energy that goes through each chakra and that unlocks whatever has been blocking your life force okay so hopefully through those messages you're going to get some guidance on how to approach this some of you if you're new to the channel you may not know but i create music engineering sounds to help the process of enlightenment to help the healing process on our spiritual journey so we'll see if we have some frequencies that come up through those cards so we're going to choose a couple here I feel a number six, and then we're going to add a guidance from Mother Isis. I felt something about light again. All right, there's something about light, sparking the light. This is about an awakening, maybe something you haven't experienced or are experiencing and you're not realizing it because it can have subtle expressions of it as well. All right, so let's see what we have. We have the High Priestess, okay? Let's see, I want to make sure that you see the cards. We have the Seven of Swords. Hmm, interesting. So let me show you a little bit this image. But we'll show you again. We have the Five of Wands. And let's see what we have underneath. We have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Wow. Okay. This is, okay, there is definitely here, when you're looking at Kundalini energy, you have to work with your inner union between feminine and masculine, okay? And that means gender, your gender has nothing to do with it. You have both energies and those two energies, when they intertwined in balance, in perfect unison, harmony, but also chemistry. When you are in perfect alignment chemistry-wise, poof, the light of source of God, of the divine, your sacred light gets sparked. Okay. So what we have here is that, you know, let me see if I, yeah, I feel this is more of the feminine energy. Okay. So feminine energy here, masculine energy, and this is the chemistry. So you see here the chemistry between your feminine, your, your intuition, your intuition is, is trying to guide you. It's trying to also make you study, okay, pile number one. Some of you, if that's something that you want to look up, I don't know. So uh, for some reason, even though it's the number two, I feel that some of you looking at the 
um, meaning of the number 11. Some of you, you may also be a life path, 11. So you may want to look up your life path. This is interesting. I like that. It's kind of like trying to show you maybe synchronicities of numbers, maybe realizing that 1111, some of you, if you haven't watched the 1111 portal oracle card deck that I did, the same thing, pick a card, um, that might be, there might be an additional message for you because we're trying to release something. So right now we're trying to know what's blocking Kundalini, the life force, our full expression, okay? And we have here on the masculine, it looks more like envy. It looks more like jealousy. You know, it looks like there's, there's a separation in the mind that is being created between what we're witnessing outside. Other people having fun, enjoying love, enjoying life, and feeling that we're not getting that. Okay, and we're seeing what's interesting is that the focus on the card of the chemistry is on the men, the masculine principle, not the gender, the masculine principle. What is the masculine principle? You see, I'm actually hammering at is head. This is your mind. There's something in your mind that keeps you from truth. It's that separation. Um, some of you, if you have experienced you know, uh, narcissistic uh, traumas, you know, through those relationships between empath and narcissistic personalities, um, and also childhood trauma, please go check out in that description of mine in this video, I have a Telegram page. I post and repost videos that I find important and interesting as far as meditation, uh, childhood trauma, anything, sound engineering, anything that I find useful that, you know, Instagram or YouTube doesn't allow me to share as easily, okay? Sometimes I get violations for things I don't even understand. <laughs> it's like, it's a video, dude, okay? This is interesting that I'm saying this. It's a video. It's a video, dude. It's just something, remember when I say it's like watching others being happy? When I said that, it was just almost like, I realized that it's not always what it appears to be. There's something about making sure we're not stuck in the illusion first that there's a separation. If you manifest, that's something I've tried to you know, really instill in people's mind because that's something that my higher self and higher guys guidance has been really helped me understand is that everything that I manifest, that I witness is part of me attracting a part of me to me. So if you're seeing happy couples, why would you separate? Or if you're seeing happy, you know, lifestyles or whatever happy, why would you separate? Because truly it's saying, hey, you're a match to that desire. That's for you. Your soul may want that. And maybe not just like the whole aspect of that, but some of that. Okay? And then that's for you to, to be sparked into that quest. Okay? So I feel that if, you have a, if you've been dissatisfied, if you feel that you've been like ignored by the universe, ignored for what you've been claiming. That feels like the energy that's blocking you because it's really wanting to come for you. That, so that's interesting because here, what's that's more of the material plane. And this is for me, what I like to do is that it's almost like there's a, there's a water line here and that's the reflection that is on the other side, other side of the mirror. The other side of the mirror is showing that you have strong intuition, but it's still dormant to a certain point. We have here the four of pentacles. And what I'm seeing here, it's actually dormant because you might have someone that is attached to how much comfort you bring them. You see how much light and fire and warmth there is? where she's not realizing, it's almost like an under-influence type of thing. 
You know, recently I've been sharing because the ones I share uh, that sh- um, follow me on Instagram that my higher guidance was telling me you have to stop drinking coffee because when you get triggers from the universe in order to process it, in order to, you know, do what is meant for you to do, create those musics, those videos, those insights for others, for myself, so I can free myself. If I'm already in a better brainwave state, it's a very close state that can, uh, first of all, it creates hyper-focus on the outside right away. Okay, and that's why people become productive because they can zoom into something that's outside of them and process, process, process. But when things are coming to us as an intuition, it becomes, and especially if it's a trigger of something that is not for us, that we have to recognize, say, no, put boundaries to it. We're not going to be able to put up boundaries. And I feel that some of you, that is definitely a sign that there's a boundary to put up and a boundary of, look at this, here there's some type of intimidation. There's some, there's some type of trying to overpower. And this is almost like kind of draining the feminine. Draining the feminine from awakening. We know that with kundalini awakening, spiritual awakening, the feminine principle has to rise into its, you know, its awareness. Yes, it's a principle that's more hidden. It's intuition. So it's not as obvious to the physical eye, but it is to your third eye, okay? And here what we have is that as a guidance here for your masculine, your part of you that is your mind, you need to bring a lot of comfort, but comfort in the sense that it's compassion and safety, I will protect you. I will protect you from intimidation, from being, you know, susceptible to be under the influence of the repetition of certain toxic patterns. Let's see what goddess Isis wants to share. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Let me show you the cards. And I want to say this is the high priestess. Look at this. Some of you, you probably have some past lifetimes as a high priestess. Maybe you've worked under the guidance of Isis. You're connected to this goddess, mother principle, nurturing principle. This is why we're seeing this. And this is why maybe you had to walk the fire of initiation. This is the card of initiation. And look at this, Horus. So you can activate your pineal gland. Wow. In terms of frequency, before I read anything, I want you to look at the Super Empath in terms of boundaries. Super Empath series, you go on my playlist, that's one for sure that you want to uh, start practicing. If you have experienced childhood traumas that are deep and have been recurring, Again and again, I would definitely look at the empath survival kit, okay, for trauma response, if that goes that deep, okay? All right, let's start with the high priestess. I'm just getting excited, just, (laughs) just feeling this. A mystery is to be unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose. Yes. Yes. Let me show you the card if you want to pause and read. All right, initiation. When you are being initiated into the divine mysteries of light, love and power. There are moments of profound challenge. The key is to find the light within the challenge, the opportunity for growth that can transform any challenge into an experience of healing. With compassion and cleverness, you will not burn during your challenges. You shall thrive. 
Ooh, I told you this was intense. Yes, we're still in Scorpio season as I am channeling this. Some of you, you've joined my meditation temple to continue and further the energy work for transmutation and alchemizing the shadows. We've been doing a lot of aura cleansing, sound baths, and we still have a, you know, a little while in Scorpio season. Not too much more, but you know, let's see what we have a little bit more for you. Pile number one, can we get some more details? Or is there any more details? <laughs> I felt a little greedy asking. This is interesting. Let's see. Just felt a little, ooh, okay. Yes, justice. There's, you see, okay. <laughs> All right. It's telling me, don't ask too much. Let yourself be led. When you hear this guidance, let yourself be led. The scales, there's something also as far as too much giving and not receiving enough. Your yin energy is the receptive one. If you're too much in your yang, example, like I said, with the coffee, it puts you in a brainwave that is more yang outward productivity, not receptive. So some of you may want to look at your habits, okay, as far as your rituals every day, what you're doing, maybe it's not supporting your intuition. Um, but also you can use my yin-yang frequency playlist. That can be really helpful, especially if you need to, uh, if you're in excess of yang, then you can use it as well, the yang. So it rebalances that because you're both, you have both. So you might want to use both, then put them together and see how that feels. Okay. And you see, okay, I'm going to stop with that card. It seems that that's where we have to stop. 11 again. So we have an awakening for you. Definitely a big awakening. That's what this Kundalini reading wants to share with you. You are going through a phase of initiation of your spiritual self your high priestess, high priest self, okay, your divine self, ultimately. If this resonated, please don't forget to give me a like. It supports the channel to grow. You can subscribe, you can comment. It's always a pleasure to read you when I, you know, I happen to look at my little YouTube and um, just connect with you guys. So thank you so very much. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally. <laughs> number two. By number two, I had to start a recording. I was like, I'm going to lose this, this song and I can't remember it. And I had to be in the presence of you to remember, to remember the lyrics and the theme. I'll make it my way. That's interesting. I don't know where it's going with... <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, let's let's see. Pile number two. Thank you for indulging me with this little weird entrance, but I just felt it was important, and I was like, I can't let that that sound go. I can't. I I couldn't. I was like singing and singing, and I'm like, where? And I was like, oh my god, let me ask someone in the house, and and I'm like, but maybe I'll forget <laughs> if I do that. Okay. Well. All right, <laughs> well, there's something about remembrance for sure. Maybe there's something about a gift. Maybe your voice, boom, it's just a knock. There's something, there's an awakening. There's something that's knocking on your door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> what is going on? Are some of you musicians, artists, singers? We're just, you know, aspiring to self-express, okay? And I feel like 
this might be the block because if you're an artist, I've seen it many times, you know, uh, even with my Instagram and my reels, I have like people sometimes that just feel like they, they want to control how I'm creating my reels and, you know, instruct me on what I should do and should use. And I, I just, before it would have really upset me, but not anymore. And I feel as some of you, that might be a theme for you. That might be what could be blocking. Now, this is all feels, okay? And Audrey is all feels. <laughs> but she's learned to put also her mind, because she's all mind also, but we had to put them together. And that was the work. That was the work. The work is the chemistry between the two and making sure that this dance is dance in union and harmony and with enough flow of equal, even, give and take, okay? All right, let's see what we have. So we have the Eight of Swords, okay? That has been like my my feminine Colin. And the way that I like to see it is like, imagine this is the outside and this is the mirror. This is the, imagine you're looking at yourself in, in the water, in a lake, in, in a lake. And this is the reflection. Okay, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. There's something that is trying to force trying to force into something seven of cups let me look at that reflection please okay <laughs> we got the fool all right i make it my way is it's making sense here i like that because i don't like that <laughs> i i it just mm. There's some, some, we have to, to discover together. Okay, we have the sun here. Hmm. Then the five of cups. Very interesting. Let me feel this. What's blocking your life force here? There's definitely something as far as Okay, I'm not going to say poison of the mind, but almost. Like a little bit like a Rihanna song. Okay, to the almost like that kind of maybe addiction to love that aches, love that hurts, especially with this, um, this Knight of Pentacles. In this one, when you actually read the little booklet, this speaks of this bitter le lemon that it, this knight is presenting. Now, in the regular tarot cards, the, the knight of pentacles is a slow, slow knight. takes time. So it feels like this, is a, this has been a situation with um, an entanglement. Yes, that's a, it feels like an energy entanglement. And to the level that it has been created in the mind. It has been created with a toxic relationship. It has been created with something almost that... As, it's like mold. It's something that has been... You haven't shone the light on it, but it's coming. And I'm hoping this pick a card reading is helping you this oracle is helping you because there's definitely light that's going to be shone on that almost like you know mold is like it needs oxygen it needs space to breathe there was something that was choking your life force and that it has been almost um some type of mental pattern that created a feeling it almost like is a feeling of betrayal, um, almost like maybe something about infidelity, lack of commitment. There's something as far as, it's almost like whatever has happened in a past relationship is in filtering your own relationship between feminine and masculine. Now, on the other side of the mirror, which is, this is kind of like the world trying to trigger to you this grand awakening and saying, 
you have to you see here it's like the snake almost to the ankle now some of you ankle or pisces it could be pisces it could be especially aquarius and what I like it because the archetype of the zodiac Aquarius is the way shower. So some of you, maybe you're actually being called through this oracle to step out of whatever cage of the past because you, you're meant to show the way. You're meant to shine also the light on this type of whatever dynamic it is that has affected you. Because there's something here as far as a deeper commitment that wants to come forward. I feel like maybe some of you also, I'll do it my way. It's maybe a sign you have to watch for settling. The universe right now doesn't want you to settle. Wants to make sure that you know if that feels like a relationship that's, eh, yeah, okay, you know, there's something that has been calling you and it might be especially through the season where we have you know a lot of Scorpio energy a lot of planets in Scorpio uh, it's creating a lot of influx into looking at our shadows which is important because this is going to shine the light you need your light though you need your light to be activated so some of you I would suggest the aura cleansing and strengthener in my youtube channel as far as the frequency healing because you need to make sure that you see through this so you can call something greater now if it's not about a relationship remember this is about your inner relationship as well something that is greater so maybe some of you you even struggle with the balance of how much you give and how much you receive or you're overworking or sometimes you have times where you're total procrastination. There's a greater outcome that wants to come forward for you. Let's see what Goddess Isis wants to help with here. This one wanted to come forward for sure. Okay, this is more. Okay, all right. When the Goddess wants, the Goddess wants. <laughs> Not gonna, we're not gonna mess with that. All right, goddess of 10,000 names. Let me first look at those titles the lunar queen and the lady of the stars. Wow, <clears throat> you're definitely here being called to step into your sacred goddess godlike energy your intuition and if you're a gender masculine feminine it doesn't matter as far as the gender this is your intuition this is your heart your heart is in perfect resonance at the perfect fifth in music it's so delicious the heart is in perfect fifth with your soul your soul star chakra and your soul star chakra holds a lot of the records, the memories that can spark back what is meant for you, that direction. So I feel for you, pile number two, there's the way, maybe some of you, you've been stuck in the old ways, okay? And we want to move on from this. Okay, let's see what we have. Goddess of 10,000 names. If you have felt constrained by a role, mm, there you go about settling, <laughs> name or identity and are wishing for assistance in growing beyond it. Or if you have sensed a new role or identity calling you into greater expression and would love some divine help in that growth, this oracle indicates the help you need is already with you and i'm hearing within you urging your growth from within from within okay let's see what else so i feel this is going to be connected to the um the new moon the cycles of the moon so we have the upcoming new moon in scorpio in couples days remember this is timeless but if you're watching this when it's happening 
you might want <clears throat> gee there's some blocks as far as the throat you might want to look and watch this uh, very deep reading and i spent you know 45 minutes plus diving in each houses and messages this is very deep so i feel that there might be a message for you pile number two if you're watching this in the new moon in scorpio uh, reading there is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment as essential to balance our actions of power and demonstration you are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now trusting that you are in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase release and enjoy the process without having to control or force it remember when i say some of you maybe you have a tendency to overwork to overdo to overgive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lady of the stars cyrus is a celestial goddess <clears throat> Jeez, the throat, huh, honey? Honey, oh, maybe some of you, you should drink some, uh, some honey, herbal tea with honey at night. There's something about soothing. You need some, this feels more, you know, like, this feels more like there's, there's more romance that wants to come forward for you. So let's try again, <laughs> shall we? Sirius is a celestial goddess, a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. She brings deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. She asks you to pay attention now because something significant is taking place at a spiritual level for you at this time. There's definitely, if it hasn't happened just yet, it is on its way. It is happening. You have to allow it. Let's move this and see if we have some more cards. What is that? Mm, yes. You have to want it. You have to want it. This Knight of Wands is running to its course, but this is where I feel like you want to awaken this dragon energy that fire within it takes some work i do kundalini meditation every single morning and when i had my my kundalini spontaneous awakening six months later i i started doing this kundalini meditation again and again for 10 days and i sparked it again this was crazy to me and i still do it because it's just it's almost like to me it feels like a flush of my channel and this is my spine my channel of communication with what i am meant to show to embody become that way short to show the light on something greater that is possible Okay, and whatever that is, you know, it's like my little journey, and you have one too. So you 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 need to want it, okay, to call it in because it's happening. But it would be much easier, smoother if you allowed it to come through. Yes. Call more love, more compassion. So you can end those cycles. It's definitely here something about you believing that you you you're meant for something greater you're being called on the different path you don't have to settle the universe is here to say don't settle this is what's blocking your kundalini energy pile number two all right this is what i have for you please if it resonated don't forget to like it supports the channel's growth and if you want to comment and tell me how that felt for you i also love reading your comments down below you have many links if you need more guidance support i offer many type of support through my music through my meditation temple and other options my sound engineering my youtube membership thank you so very much pile number two namaste so pile number three i've been hearing some songs for all piles and some they don't exist and some they do and for you i just i need you to hear this tune
All right, pile number three. You're activating in me the singing oracle. <laughs> Not a surprise, but quite a surprise in front of everyone. So some of you, I feel what has been blocked is going to be unleashed, maybe by the power of your voice, okay? Uh, maybe by doing things differently. It's interesting because I think subconsciously I chose pile number three, so I don't know. <laughs> I And I didn't mean it. So... Pile number three, we might have some resonance here as far as soul tribe, um, as far as what is meant for us. So let's see what we have. What is blocking the life force? What is blocking Kundalini? What can we do and what do we need to know to unleash, to unleash this flame? So we have here the three of cups. Okay. We have the empress, goddess. Goddess energy. We have here the Ace of Swords. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I listen. For me, right now, I have a lot that's coming through. I'm sure you too. Um, so let's let's see. <laughs> we have the Justice. I like her dress. I don't know why I had. Oh, same blue dresses here. We have the Sun. And we have the temperance. Wow. A lot of major, major arcanas. Look at this. Those. This is almost like a, some type of foundation that is coming for you, pile number three. But there was some reversals. And I flipped them all because that's what I did for all the piles. Because as we're working through this awareness, we're shifting, shifting, shifting. This is interesting. While I'm recording each segment, pile number three, this was 333 on my video. There's something about your Christed consciousness. Some of you, you work with the frequencies. Uh, you know, we work with the 33 vertebrae. That's something that you can access in the level up uh, membership. It activates all of your spine. So there's some download. There's definitely here an energy that wants to come through of empowerment and sovereignty. But what I saw, and this is why I giggled, it is in the hands of the goddess. Remember the empress? I said goddess. And we have energies and messages here because you see how this man is holding her? And it's like this, this sacred dance. But he's from the back. Activation of the governing vessel in the meridian. The spine, the vertebrae. Okay? And there's this... You need to activate the stimulation. And when I saw this, why I giggled? Because there was... This is the masculine aspect. The mind and the heart. There is a need to just stop the mental chatter. It's almost like, okay, masculine side, you've taken over long enough. <laughs> we have to rebalance the scales. Rebalance the scales because your true nature is godlike. Whether men, feminine, gender, okay? You are God, goddess like. We have to rebalance. And that comes here with a lot of indication for the feminine to lead the way. It's almost like, okay, enough play. <laughs> Played enough. My dear masculine aspect, my mind, dear mind, you can release. Release the need to know, the need to just control. I can show you a better way, a greater way, an easier way, a way to balance and kind of have this beautiful, you see all those goddess energy and such beautiful merge, cornucopia that's coming up here, okay? And it comes with such a blessing. So some of you, you know, if you're not on the YouTube uh, level of membership, what you can do, use the yin-yang frequency playlist. I have the vertebrae that are in the background that are triggering the organs. So go and check out 
how it supports you. If you have excess yang, which seems to be the case, you can still listen to yang. It will rebalance your yang. And you can still listen to yin if you're not enough or too much because it's a rebalancing, okay? And then you can put it together so you can see whatever, what's up. So if you feel during the day, you know, and, and you catch yourself being in too much, oh, how am I supposed to do this? And, and uh, 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 It's supposed to flow. Like, for example, I've been like really listening to my guidance. I've, you know, I've been feeling like I have no choice. I'm at that point. <laughs> so it's like this, there's this, this point here. It's like, okay, I surrender. Okay. All oh, right. So that's your block. Surrender. Surrender for some of you. Okay. So I've been surrendering, but today I've had to do some, um, and not had to, I flowed with my energy. And I realized just before I did this, I was doing some paperwork and administration thing. And before, you know, I could be like, eh, I'm going to do this, you know, and I have some resistance because it's not the most fun. But because I was in such a flow of yin and yang, I've just, it just flew. It just, and I felt empowered, but in an empowerment way that it didn't feel forced. Okay. I, I was, I was in a flow. I was in flow. And I've, again, it comes with practice. So let's see what the goddess Isis wants to give us as an insight for this flow, okay, for surrendering, mm. entering the chamber of healing. A spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now. Be open without expectation or preconceived notions and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Mm, expect a miracle. There's some shifts. There's some shifts that needs to occur so you can find that portal. It's okay. This is almost like, oof, I get chills. It's almost like if this is not in balance, the gate will open. All right? That's all I have to say for that. <laughs> okay. All right. Divine sisterhood. Wow. We have, but I'm not surprised. Those are major arcanas. You have the sun. You have the empress. You have goddess Isis. You have a lot, again, sisterhood. So the feminine principle. So some of you, you've been meditating uh, you know, with me, we've been doing a lot of energy work. It's been so powerful that <laughs> we've been like, okay, we're not doing this until next week. All right, bye. <laughs> because it's, it, it's such a realignment working with sound. Some people don't realize it, but the ones that were present and myself included, we had like pimples coming out. We had like some in weird places, in places that were like meridians. And like, how is that possible? Like one on top of my shoulder, like weird stuff. So anyways, let's, let's move to the divine sisterhood guidance. Letting the divine feminine nourish you now into new relationships, collaborations, community, and friendships is very wise. There are many souls with whom you have spiritual contracts decided upon before you were even born who wish to help you and whom you can help too as you grow together in peace and light and wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. I love this. I love this. And this one I know very well because I use this invocation and prayer um, <clears throat> sometimes. It's the pillar of light. So let's do this. So here we got to bring more light. So some of you, you know, uh, also you have access to this in the YouTube membership. And I'm sorry if I have to repeat, but some of you, you are, you know, working closing, closely with me. So you, you want to know what tools to address for the ones that are not interested. You have the playlist for yin and yang. Okay. And definitely here with this, I would suggest the aura cleansing and strengthener. So we have here, pillar of light, burning bright, earth star below, soul star above. Burn away all that is not light. Transform all into unconditional love. 
star of Isis descend, your blessing and peace without end. Grace me now with peace and protection, completely embraced by divine perfection. And so it is. Amen. Definitely, there's a call here. There's some high priestess. Uh, this this has been feeling very spiritual. Very, very spiritual for you, pile number three. You might be in this process. I feel like this card. I want, I want to look at it. I, I can't remember. This feels like an instrument, an attunement. It looks almost like a bulb. Something electric, some awakening, some spark. Let me see. Ancient power mysteries. Yes, some of you definitely have something to awaken that's been waiting in this chamber, in this portal. It's been calling you a past version of self. Okay, some of you, if you're struggling with entering that, I feel you need to look at the karmic astrology, the wounded healer. This will help you find that path. You look at your Chiron in your natal chart. And you look at the zodiac sign and you choose that frequency. Okay? That's what I have for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Powerful, powerful. All right. Ancient power mysteries. The oracle guides you to honor the power of your voice. Remember, we started with that. Whether through spoken or sung, <laughs> sung words, or through what you write, speak, speak about, or stand for symbolically. You have a potentially very powerful healing voice and you are guided to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice. Wow. Okay. Well, we felt that at the beginning. Again, this is, this is the word that creates worlds. Okay, so some of you that are um, choosing this pile, you are meant to be a healer, a spiritual, you know, energy that holds that space, that holds those portals and doors and those communities. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we have here. We have the Three of Wands. It was reversed. I just want to mention it. The Three of Cups, the Tower, and the page of cups reverse, but I'm going to put it upright. So this is interesting because both cards here are reversed. And that almost, that there's something about alchemy. Some of you, it's time to do energy work. It's time for you to uh, find a way to work in triunity. So feminine, masculine, and God energy. The power of prayers, the power of invocation, the power of feeling your devotion for, for just knowing whatever, if, even if you don't know what that is. It's like, I just feel it. I just know there's something. I don't need to know the details, but I, I can't let go of that feeling. And that means I'm going to honor it. Because when you do, this going to destructure the, the control some of you, there's a control, obsession almost. And this is going to unleash the creative self, the creativity, the kundalini. It's going to be feeling new. It's going to be feeling almost, um, again, it's a page. Uh, as if it, it's going to take the time it needs for growth. But it is worth it. It is definitely worth it. Yeah. Let me see. We have the King of Wands. Some of you, there's something in your chart. So start with Chiron. But some of you that want to go deeper, there's something in your chart. Because this, this King is showing a way. It's showing something in your chart. A point, a compass, something. Maybe you have a certain retrograde that is causing you AVOC. Or maybe you have, I don't know, there's something. That's, that's of importance, you know, with this red color. It might be also a point that is linked to your root. And I would say the root of all ails, the wounded healer. So it's, it's telling you again. Some of you, if you're interested, I do birth charts reading. So that can be something that can help you. But you can start with this frequency. That's what I have for you, pile number three. That was quite, quite interesting. 
I just had a, a message for this. Um, you know, it could be the point of your underworld, your IC, the way you experience life when you close your door at the end of the day. Okay, that's that's a hint for you. And again, if you don't know much about your astrology or your chart, that, that might not speak to you. But again, I have shared a lot of tips. So hopefully you get it. Otherwise, I am here for support. Please give it a thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed this guidance. Thank you so very much. Part number three. Namaste.